Welcome to the St. Michael Linden Podcast Series. My name is Greg Pickens, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Lent is U-Turn. Lent is a season when we can respond to Christ's love by turning and returning to God. Join us in this renewal process and become part of God's holy work in the world. 1 John chapter 1, verses 8-9 through 9 puts it this way, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. A reading from John chapter 5, verses 19 through 24. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomsoever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Here ends the reading. The reading we just heard is included as a prayer book choice for a funeral. For believers, it's a reading full of comfort. There is good news in this passage. It outlines several tenets of our faith, assurances that we have been offered everlasting life with our Creator through the mediation of God's only Son, Jesus. To rest assured that our life, once we cross the veil, will be even more blessed than what we experience now, a true gift. That's what I learned when I first began going to church, that my future with the Almighty was secured through my bond with Jesus. It wasn't until I was in my 20s that I began to see this passage a little differently. I understood everlasting life was an undeserved gift that was mine through the Lord. But what I was only then becoming aware of was that the blessings were not just for when my time on earth was done. What I realized was that the Lord was caring for me in the here and now. I didn't have to wait to have life. It was Jesus who was already giving me life right now. It was embarrassing, really. It had never occurred to me that living in a certain way, a way that our Lord models for us, would allow me to experience more love, see more Christ in others, notice more how the Lord is present and with us. Now, I had my first awakening when I was baptized at 12 years of age, but this new realization was truly life-changing, that the way I'd lived had a real and present effect on how much God I perceived in my day-to-day living. It is hard to put into words, but when I am focused on loving the Lord with as much of me as I can and loving others as best I can, I can tell the difference in my life. Life is challenging, but trying hard to be centered on living a life of service and thanksgiving clears the air, the static, that can sometimes make the Lord seem distant and far off. This Lent is a true gift should we, as a faith community, seek to live in harmony with the Lord. Our God is open to us and ready to accept us, even if we have not always focused on living our best spiritual life. We are invited to settle into this season, 
see where we could make changes to bring us closer to our Lord. The blessings and peace that come from this introspection and action will amaze and remind us that our God is always ready to receive us. Amen. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen.